Hey guys, so I made a video on this and I made some mistakes and I also learned some new things about this application. There's some advanced features in here that I was unaware of. So I figured I would uh, redo the tutorial for you and keep it as simple as possible as well as inform you of where everything is. So the main color board here, these are your quick selects. So I can cycle through the different colors. And you have your brightness scale bar here, so you can set the brightness as whatever you want. You can also customize each tile. So if you want to go change the color of this one, you can bring this back, and you'll see that color is now changed. If I come back this way, you can see it changed again. So you can customize your own tile set here. Now, if you know your red, green, blue, red, yellow, blue, what is it? Red, green, blue, red, green, blue colors, you know, numbers, you can actually tap on here and it will give you the RGB listings. So you can put your numbers in on here, you know, change this to 189, we'll bring this one up to 109, and we'll drop this all the way down. And then when we say OK, we now have a special color right here for it. So we actually customized this tile right here. So we can change that to whatever we want and it'll configure it back. Now, if you only have a solid wheel here, you can actually get your gradient wheel by tapping on the upper left corner here. And you can cycle through all of these, which will, again, configure these tiles to specific colors that you want. So I love that fact. I had no idea that that's what was going on when I was messing with this. I was just like, oh, cool, I can make my own custom color and that's that. I didn't realize it was changing the tile down here. So now we also have, if you go into your upper right corner here, ooh, hang on. Oh, wrong button. Huh. If you go into your gears at the upper right here, you can actually change your backgrounds. They come with some custom backgrounds, like a little starry night sky. I like that one. Let's go, let's stick with that one. A starry sky. And you can make this customizable to your own thing. You can also click on this button here at the top here, as you saw, and it'll go into your images on your device. And then you can select, you know, a picture of your dog if you wanted to, something, you know. Um, you have your basic power button right up here, so you can turn this on and off. Um, inside your hamburger, uh, inside the hamburger, in the gear, you have help, which will give you more information as needed. You know, if you have questions about something, there's usually something in there to answer the question, such as how do I change a color wheel? Helps to read these things, right? Your backgrounds, well, you already saw that one. Rainbow settings, I'll get to. Um, it also gives you your about settings and shake mode. So when your device shakes, it'll activate and be able to, you know, change colors or whatever it needs to do, whatever you're programming it to do. Um, so that's basically your home page here. Uh, your upper left corner here with the hamburger is where your devices are. So if you have more than one device, you can actually cycle through the different devices here, which is good because normally I have more than one going and this works where I can cycle through them. Right now I have them all turned off so that they don't interfere with this demonstration. So now I'm going to come back here and we're going to switch over to music mode. Now the music mode responds to the music that's playing. So if it's a slower tones, it will be a little slower. If it's fast tones, it'll be a little faster. Um, for copyright reasons, I'm not going to actually play the music that's playing right now, but I will, you know, tell you, you can go look up, you know, Alan Walker play, Ava Max Salt. So you can kind of match the music up with what I'm doing here. Um, this does have a semi strobe effect to it, so I'm sorry if anyone has problems. I'm going to try and keep this short. Uh, short and sweet, that's basically how it works. There's really not much you can configure here. You can set up a repeat, you can set up a, a shuffle, you know, that sort of thing. And that's basically it. I, there's not much to work with here. Uh, when you come over, to, and now these are songs that are on your device. Now, if you have a radio playing and you want your lights to be responsive, you can switch over here to tape mode, which is actually a, a microphone listening to the sounds around you, the ambient sounds. So with me talking, you'll notice the lights change, but as soon as I stop, it goes done. It'll just stay on whatever it's on. And it'll continue to do this. I can set the, you know, the speed of it. I can 
change like see there now it's really slow it's actually barely responding to me because it's slow so you might have to play with your settings a little bit here in order to get it proper to what you want for either the music you're playing or if you're talking and just having fun with it you'll have to play with that a little bit now they also have styles now these are preset items now i spoke about the rainbow mode which was up in the gear here programming the rainbow so you slide up here and you select your device once you select your device, you can actually change it to red, green, blue, green, red, blue, whatever. They give you a couple options here. Uh, the top one, you can actually add white into the mix for the LEDs. So depending on which LED set you have, like how many lights you have in your set. So if your LED is specifically only red, green, blue, then you can set this to red, green, blue. Then the sequence that you want it to run at is this mode here. You can tell it, you know, okay, I want it to be, you know, blue, red, green cycle. You say set, say okay, it tells you it's successful. You can now back out of here, come back to the main board, which now I'm on rainbow jumping. So now with that running, it actually will cycle through the different, you know, colors and things that I set for it. So if I speed this up, you can see it's now cycling through those. They have flashing, which I'm trying not to hit because of the fact of I don't want to give you guys seizures. They are pretty quick. You can adjust again the speed for each one of these. Uh, we can move down to pulsating where it just kind of, as you can see, it kind of pulsates through the you know, the two colors. This one is red and blue. Here's red and green, so it can be all a little festive, you know, and for some reason it's actually blue and green. Or, yeah, so I don't know. Some of these presets are off. They're not correct. So, you know, you kind of make do with what you got on here. Uh, like, I go to, like, red pulsating, so I can just let it kind of go... Yeah, some of these are a little mixed up. I don't know why. I'm going to have to uh, message the developer about that. <laughs> All right. So on to the next part here. This is the fun one and the reason why I actually bought this set is there's a timer setting. Now, the timer setting here, if you tap on the clock, you know, the clock section here, you can set what day of the week and what time. Now, this is a military time, so it's 1.54 right now. So I'm going to change this by swiping up to 1.55. Come on. I want to do it before the clock changes, of course. I'm going to tell it to turn my LEDs off. Come on. There we go. I'm going to say OK. And in less than a minute, we should have our LEDs turn off. And uh, so I'm just going to wait a second here. Since it took a little bit for us to program, it should be about another few seconds. I might speed this part up and I'm going to sound like a chipmunk. So there we go. And now the lights are out. So as you can see, the remote is over here. So I didn't touch anything. It turns off. Now, if you want them to turn on, you can do the same thing. You can configure this by swiping over. Select your days. We're going to say 56. Say OK. Now the power's off, so I'm just going to go switch over to the main board here. So, you know, this is our pre-set colors. All right, so I'm going to tell it to be that one, whatever. You know we turned off at a rainbow. So we're going to wait another about, what, 20 seconds or so. I'm probably going to speed this part up a little bit as well so you can see what's going on. My hands are right here. The remote is right there. So you can see that I don't touch anything to turn the lights on. I don't even touch the tablet to turn the lights on with the tablet because you can do that too by pushing that little button up there. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to wait and the lights should turn on. There you go. So that's the basic gist of how this app works. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave it below and or contact me and we can go from there. All right. Enjoy.